Thanks for waking up with us this morning on Channel 5 News. We've got a stalled out front still producing a lot of rain, uh, really from North Texas on up into Kentucky, Ohio. And yes, there's some colder air where that warmer air is not. And so there's a little bit of freezing rain, sleet and those shades of pink. You really have to go way to the north to find some snow, though, because it's a pretty warm air mass for a lot of places. Uh, but we're still waiting on this thing to start moving again. And what's going to cause this to lift as a warm front and technically the northern part of this to kind of start moving back down as a cold front is going to be this area of low pressure. It's going to run into this stalled out front uh, and is going to get everything moving again. And ultimately, it's going to be this cold front back here. If it's going to be moving into the state of Texas, we'll get to our area Thursday night and is going to lead to much colder temperatures for Friday and Saturday. So we just got to wait on this thing to finish getting organized and start moving a little bit faster and then things will, will get interesting. Today is going to be pretty similar to tomorrow. I got to be honest with you. It's going to start out with a lot of clouds. There'll be some partial clearing as we go through the day, but it's going to be very slow process overall. It's going to be a mostly cloudy day. It's going to be a little bit windier than tomorrow or than yesterday. Um, I think gusts will frequently reach around 30 miles per hour, maybe even 35 as you get out towards the coast. I do think late afternoon is going to be the best chance of seeing some sunshine. I do think quite a few of us will have partly cloudy skies, but just like yesterday, any clearing that does occur is not going to last. The clouds thicken back up tonight. Another pretty cloudy start tomorrow. We'll see some peaks of sun during the day tomorrow. Notice one o'clock, mostly cloudy, no rain around, but in the late afternoon, tomorrow. Yes, the showers will be returning. We could be dodging some showers for the homebound commute tomorrow. Not a washout. Not everybody's seen the rain, but that rain chance is going to continue into the evening hours as well, and I don't think it's going away anytime soon. I think we have a chance of rain on Friday and a chance of rain on Saturday and good chances of rain. Now, when you look at rainfall totals uh, from now, through Sunday morning when our rain chance is going to end. You can see where the heaviest rain is going to be where it is right now. In fact, today and tomorrow there could be some flooding parts of Missouri, Kentucky, maybe even into Ohio. As you go to the south, though, the rainfall totals aren't as impressive. Now we do have a lot of blue showing up over us, so that means a lot of folks could end up seeing a half an inch of rain, maybe even three quarters of an inch. But seeing over an inch of rain is going to be real tough because we're going to have a lot of light rain for a long amount of time, uh, starting really from tomorrow afternoon through Sunday morning, but there's not going to be any heavy rain around and it's not all going to fall at one time. Uh, so over a long period of time, the rain totals will add up, uh, but we're not concerned about flooding. Uh, if we were going to see heavy rain in a short amount of time or heavy rain over a long amount of time, there'd be flooding. But because it's all going to be light rain, there's no flood threat for us. So uh, just some more rain that we need to help get rid of the drought. 84 today, no rain today. Skies will become partly cloudy this afternoon. A very warm and windy day. Gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Tonight, lows around 69. It's going to be breezy and muggy. And then we cool down all the way into the 50s for Friday and Saturday. But then we start warming right back up, back to the low 80s on Monday. One more news right after this break.